Prosím tě, auto musí hořet, ale tady odsaď, jo. Děkuji. Stop, fala, a já mohu se se skrupně. Uděláme detail, zůstaňte, zůstaňte tak, Zdení. A to bude konečný, co je to? Na rameno ne. Kousek vejš, Zdení, pojďte, vylezte malinko, popolezte. To čo, krupně, ale to bylo nebude úlep. Ne, 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 už on toliko spustí. Može, ale bolje da, da kad izigráš šitom, samo napraviš sa trubu. Da se sagneš, pa da mu trubu gore pokaži. Aha. Njega možeš, crnog možeš, jel? Mislila sam, ajmo. Pomalo, pomalo, pomalo. Ne mogu u njega... Dobri. Ne, ne, baš pomalo. Drug, Marko, drug, Marko, Marko, gore, dinec. Bombe mi gri. Ne, nije vratne žile čoveču, strati to se tako zvuk. Vratne žile malo tako. Ajde, ajmo probiš. Znači Milena, da on kaže... Jedno, dva... Onda ću u kolu. Ide to u kruh. Ajde, lezi! Švali. Bravo, bravo. Evo, šalu. O, što je ona? Da ti imaš? Nisu, nisu. Kamera, da prvo. Akcija! Može da je unuza o Emirate. Ne, 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 Perfect idea that I was very thrilled by, by the two guys being in love with a uh, famous actress, and one of them who was the biggest criminal, and the other was his supporter. The, at the end of the World War Two, the one from them, in order to take him out of the girl, he put him into the cellar and didn't say that World War Two ended, which somehow metaphorically tells in the continuation of the story, the world policy, how, how powerful people keeping people into the underground of their life. And it's about sex, it's about arms, and it's basically about two, two basic activities in my country. Making a movie to me is a big adventure. It's like uh, uh, something that uh, doesn't have, doesn't have a lot of things with the, uh, with the written script and I just feel the explosion the moment it comes that I have to create a new life and uh, it's not enough the script is just something that gives you initial uh, injection into the world of, uh, of, a, of a new creation you know I know that it's very expensive sometimes very heavy for for the producers, but I kind of I feel that I'm I'm just inheriting the cinema that my old idols uh, used to do, starting with Fellini, Renoir, Tarkovsky, and people like that. And I believe that there is a need for for cinema like that. Every movie I do, I do with the one hundred. 50% of my capabilities. And when I finish it, I feel like I don't even need to see it again. I need to see it a couple of times with the people to feel that it goes, it engages people, it gives them certain emotion, 
uh, wakes up certain emo emotions inside them, and then I don't care about my anything else. First of all, without Svilko, I cannot make a movie. It's a sickness already. It's not the question of if somebody is better or worse. It's a sickness of youth, and it's a certain exchange in which I don't need to say a lot of words when we understand each other. And it's exchange of the energy that drives the movie, I think, into the way that it's needed. When you come to Hollywood and you say art movie, they, they apparently they start feeling like they have a stinking substance here. It's like the, the worst possible thing you mention. Because they lost illusion. That's why I think they go directly into the suicide. Somehow I feel like I'm inheriting certain type of cinema that, dis that disappeared in the meantime. A certain type of cinema that is very close to the conception of circus, in which everything is uh, put almost on the edge of being very dangerous and very attractive and very funny at the same time. And I think he's an extremely good actor. Uh, from what we have expected from him, he's doing always a little bit more. But the problem with animals is you need to spend time and money. In my family, every time, in, in every generation, they were changing countries. And I'm fed up with it. So I was Yugoslav, and I'm going to die as a Yugoslav. No, basically, all, all my life what I'm trying to do is a comedy. And it never comes out because certain uh, feelings and certain tragic tones that I carry on in my brain, in my entire personality, somehow comes stronger than, than the other one. But I think this time I got a, a script that was kind of uh, contrast all the time in the contrasting situation between funny and serious, in which uh, the, the way that story was constructed is much more, I would say, funny. Everything in my life and in, in my movies is unpredictable. No matter how story about people being kept in the underground was strong, it's just demolished by the process of shooting. And that's why I believe when people get along with the movies that I do, they get amazed with the amount of energy that comes out of the screen. So, if I speak about this film, I would rather speak about the energy and the certain references in the uh, history of cinema, because we are in the end of the century, rather than strong, more or less stronger story. I am a comedy of this. And comedy that have never been a comedy until the end, but have remained in their own spirituality in a combination između smiješnog i tragičnog. Svaki moj film, a mislim da je korijen negdje u toj spoznaji da svijet nikad nije bio toliko ozbiljan kao što su komunisti mislili, nego da je svijet upravo nešto obrnuto, počela moja emocionalna preobrazba u čovjeka koji je polako htio da napravi jednu veliku komediju. I šta se meni desilo? Desilo mi se kao i svakom drugom slavenu sa tim jakim kontradiktornim osjećanjima. Nisam uspio da napravim komediju, ali umijem da ljude nas mijem vrlo često i da negdje u tom nekom ritmu rađanja i smrti, jakom ritmu, tom jakom impulsu, ugradim taj smisao za humor koji mene lično spasava od te tragične vizije života, koja je također jaka u meni. Moj film je upravo jedan film koji govori protiv manipulacije i to je film koji ne stoji, ne samo da ne stoji za neke propagande, nego je upravo protiv svake propagande. Njegov nivo u kome priča, postoji kao priča o jednom čovjeku koji je izmanipulisao drugog. Jedna stara priča, univerzalna, koja se ne tiče samo moje zemlje koje nema, jer ja vjerujem da sve ove reakcije dobre koje je film imao ne bi mogao imati da on nema jedan univerzalni nivo komunikacijski u kome se priča o jednom pojmu i u jednoj stvari koja je poznata svijetu. Htjeli mi to ili ne, mi smo svi izmanipulisani, a ovaj film to govori, čini mi se, na najdirektniji način.
Ja nisam uopšte siguran tu. Za mene je ta zemlja, pored ove prve faze koju sam opisao, postojala i u kulturnom smislu. To je zemlja koja je bila jako živa u svojim različitostima. To je bila zemlja u kojoj su različite kulture ili bar kulture sa različitim preznacima, religioznim i uopšte istorijskim, su činili jedan vrlo čudan konglomerat različitih ideja i različitih lijepih stvari. Tako da moja razmišljanja o toj zemlji nisu nikad bila teritorijalna, koliko ko koliko koja nacija ima uticaja na drugu, nego upravo u tom, u tim, kao neko jedinstveno kulturno područje. Ja mislim da se zapravo, kad se ohlade strasti i kad ljudi shvate da treba da žive i da na neki način komuniciraju ponovo nakon ovog krvavog rata, da će zapravo to kulturno osjećanje ići paralelno sa integracijonim procesima u Evropi. Jer Evropa živi koliko ja vidim u procesu integracije, a ja još od početka nikako nisam shvatio kako je moguće da se jedna zemlja dezintegriše dok Evropa postaje jedinstvena. Ja se nadam da će taj kulturni kod nekako da objedini taj život kojeg smo mi izgubili.